Hey, what's up, everybody? I am DJ Shockley. I want to thank you guys for always joining me for Falcons Film Review presented by Microsoft Surface. I'm going to break down two of the Falcons' key playmakers in this particular ballgame that made a bunch of plays. Kyle Pitts and Kondero Hodge. These guys are doing what we call giving great access to the quarterback, but finding the new nuances inside a zone coverage to get open. Let's break down a couple of these particular plays from this ball game. Let's talk about Kyle Pitts first off. And in this particular concept that we're drawing here, this is a concept where you want to get a lot of leverage on this linebacker, which puts him under a lot of stress because you got a lot of things in front of him. Let's draw up the route concepts first. You got Jonathan Smith coming across here on a little shallow cross route. That's going to hold these inside linebackers. Then you got coming down here in motion, and then he's going to sit up right here in the little hook area that's going to control this particular uh, linebacker. And then you got Kyle Pitts coming here on what we call a little basic route, sitting right in the zone. So you're flooding everything underneath. It puts a lot of pressure on the underneath linebackers to pick and choose who they're going to take. So let's break down what happens here. They're going to play in a zone coverage. You bring motion down. Kyle Pitts is in your slot, so you give him access off the football. And now look, okay, here's the concept I'm talking about. Here's John New here. He's coming across. He is going to control this particular linebacker so he can't fall off on it. This is the linebacker that we got to play against because this is the guy that if he crashes on this particular route, it gives Kyle Pitts the chance to have a huge void. But he doesn't do that. He actually kind of falls off a little bit, but Kyle does a good job of coming in in his wheel zone. Now, the other important play on this is this safety. There's nothing really to attack him. He's actually going to fall off on his route a little bit, but he does such a good job of sitting in this voided area here. Now, here's the voided area here. This is what I'm talking about. So this is the guy you've already affected with this route right here. Now you got Kyle Pitts coming in here. Now, if he comes screaming across, this particular safety will probably, cr will probably crash on it and he'll have an easier play to knock that football down. But he does, he does such a good job of just kind of sitting down right in here, not really going too hard, too fast, sits in his zone, and he throws it right over the top, and now you have an easy completion, and now you got a big chunk yardage play. Nice job of understanding where the zone is, and it's sitting down inside that zone so he has an ability to catch that football and move on. Let's talk about Kadero Hodge, another guy who made a bunch of big time plays in his ball game. Now, this particular play is versus cover two. Cover two, the weak spots in cover two are, you got this outside zone in between the corner and the safety. This is gonna be actually who's your safety in the ball game, but he actually is gonna play your flat defender. And the other part is in the middle of the field. That's a big play. So on the outsides and in the middle is where cover two can be attacked. And this is where the Falcons are going to attack on this particular play here. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna get Cordell Hodge and he's gonna run right in between the corner and the safety and you're gonna hit him right in between this safety who's going back to cover two. Now you're also gonna get a nice little, what we call a sticker out here to hold this flat defender, which is this particular defender here. He's gonna hold there and cover two by five, six yards from the sideline. Now you have the opportunity to hit this particular play. So this is a two-man concept over here that you wanna work from the beginning. Hodges comes off the ball, and here's the important thing to watch. Now, you see him go to cover two. So you see here, safety going to cover two, this safety going to cover two. Look at all the room that you have in the middle of the field. That's another voided area I talked about in cover two that you want to hit, but also the other voided area is in between the corner and the safety, and this is where he is going to get the football. But the great thing about this is he doesn't just force himself into this area. He kind of gets over this area, and he's going to throttle down right in here so that this safety can't come over and make a play. And you better see it better once he lets his football go. And here's the area. So now you can see it. There's the voided area I talked about in between the corner and the safety right over here against this sideline. He does a good job of settling and not trying to get too far upfield. The further upfield he gets, he makes it easier for this guy to get over the top. But he settles in that cover two zone and makes himself accessible to the quarterback. And now you get an easy pitch and catch and another chunk yardage play. Nice job of Cordell Hodge understanding, again, where are the holes in these particular zone defenses. Let's talk about another big time play in this ball game by Cordell Hodge here. This is a 20 yard reception. Now this is what you call an off schedule play because the Vikings actually play it pretty well. What you're gonna get on this particular play here is you're gonna get CP running a flat route and then he's gonna end up turning it up the sideline. And then you're gonna get a basic route or a little mini post on the inside by this number two receiver coming across here. But the outside guy who is Kadera Hodge, here he is at the top here, he is what's gonna run a curl route. 
And they do a good job of running this curl route because this is the guy you have to affect. He is the flat defender. Who is the guy we're working off in this particular coverage is what's most important. And they're working off this guy. Now he actually plays it pretty well. On the snap, you're gonna see he actually plays right where he's supposed to be. Now right now, this ball is not open. Here's the flat defender. They had another flat defender that rolled underneath it. This is where he wants to go. You see, he's coming out of his breaking, coming straight, straight back down that stem. And this is where he should be coming back to. He's coming, he should be coming straight back to the quarterback, but he can't do that because there is a defender in this area. This is what we call the first window throw. Now, instead of coming right back down his stem and being automatically covered, what he does is he moves just slightly inside here and makes himself accessible to the quarterback again, giving him room to throw the football. Because we're clearing it out here with this post, getting this safety out of here. And now you're working off this one flat defender. He's occupied. Now you got this one flat defender to work off of, and you have to beat this guy. Because you can see his eyes are already looking in the backfield. Look, his eyes are already looking here to go with it. So you want to make sure that you get this football off in time and look at him work inside. Remember I talked about him just curling around just a little bit into that zone? That's exactly what you want. Instead of being covered, gives himself up and gives himself an opportunity to make another huge catch. And there it is, a huge gain that could have been just a throwaway, but hard to understand is where to be in that particular zone. All right, let's talk about my man Kyle Pitts here. One more time, Kyle Pitts. This is what we call a kind of triple seam. You got to all go, but you want to make sure you're working against this safety. This is the guy who can take this football away, who can take this play away. What's going to happen is you're going to get a really nice release on the outside here. You're going to get a outside release go route to take this guy out of the play. So he's going to take him out. Kyle Pitts is going to what we call arc release, arc release here and run up the numbers because he wants to stay away from this particular safety. You got go routes on this side as well. And then you got a little shallow cross here as your outlet in case that doesn't, in case that's not open. And the one way that you can get this, and you, you look at it from the, the, the field view, this is exactly what you want versus this particular cover. You're putting so much stress on this safety with these routes that it forces him to be, he can't be right if you run it the right way. Now watch Kyle Pitts in the slot. Watch him arc release here. The arc release point here is, look at both of these guys. Both of these guys are heading in this direction to put strain on this safe, on this corner and this safe. This safe is in the middle of the field right now. And now you see Kyle Pitts, he's running up this seam here and he wants to be right up these numbers because the further away he is from this guy, the better opportunity he has to get the football. Now the other guy you gotta pay attention to is this underneath defender. And that's why you run this shallow cross. This shallow cross under here should hold this guy and he should hold this guy. But if he doesn't and he drops, it has to be a perfect throw in this seam. And Tyler, Taylor Heineke does a great job of what I call hugging the ceiling on this throw. I mean, it's not too high, it's not too low, not too much on the line, but he puts it enough on the line where he gets over this linebacker. And now look at this throw here. Unbelievable job of this space. Here's a space that you have here to throw this football where you actually want to end up catching this football. Kyle Pitts right here is further enough away from this particular corner. And also you see the safety in the middle of the field, he can't make a play on it. This is the only other guy that can make a play on it. Heineke does a good job of laying it over this linebacker and Kyle Pitts keeps his landmark inside the numbers and it ends up being a really great catch. Let's watch it one more time from this back end. And here is what I'm talking about. Here's the guy that you got an effect. Here's the guy you got to affect because these guys are going to be outside and he's going to be give a great release here. As you release, there's Kyle. Now you can see the space that I'm talking about here. Here's the space I'm talking about. Here's the area you want to hit because you got this corner on the outside over here who is affected by this particular route going over the sideline and you got Kyle running up that scene. Now this was the only guy I mentioned who could make a play on this because his safety is so far away and in the middle of the field. Kyle Pitts keeps his leverage and keep that landmark up the seam. Now a nice completion and another chunk yardage play. Kadero Hodge, Kyle Pitts did such a great job in this ball game of understanding the zones, the nuances in those zones, but not just running too far in them, but being patient in them. And Heineke delivered some big time chunk plays in this ball game. I want to thank you guys for joining me. I'm DJ Shockley. This has been Falcons Film Review presented by Microsoft Surface. Hope to see you guys next week.